All right, guys, we gotta take a moment of silence. All right, all right, calm down, calm down. It was a joke. But today we're gonna react to the Devastator. Catch you guys in the video. Greetings Outriders, welcome back to our Spotlight series, videos that explore specific features of the game. Today, we are delving into the third class, the ground shaking. Alrighty! Devastator. Let's go, Devastator! Time codes in the description if you'd like to skip through sections, but if knowing everything... Ooh, I saw something said impaling? Your style, keep on watching. Oh shit. The earth around us, a brute force powered by the planet itself. Let's go! <laughs> Who is this class for? At first glance, you may think that Devastators are your typical run-of-the-mill tank class. But once you get to know these not-so-friendly giants, you'll soon realize that they can match the other classes regarding sheer damage. And Let's go! An important thing to know Hence the name Devastator. Be a real linchpin in determining the flow of battle. Hold on, is that a my dude summons an obelisk? Does that obelisk suck them forward? Like suck them into it? That would be kind of sick. My dude got the Titan Smash. Hey, shout out to the guy who let me know in the video that everyone has the same like Titan Smash ability. And what I called Kamehameha in my last video is just a regular melee that everyone has. Appreciate you letting me know. With a number of interrupt skills, an accomplished devastator can effectively shut bosses down. If you love slugging it out with the enemy. Oh, whoa. There we go. We got to look at some some different uh, armor. Well, the Devastator is your Oh, this dude looks sick. Fundamentals. The Devastator is focused around gravitational and earth-based powers and effects, centered around three core tenets. All right, so the last guy we reacted to was kind of electric. It was he was very uh force field uh Kind of slowing down time, controlling time. This guy seems like an earth, uh, earth bender. This, we gonna get the avatar, the whole, the whole group here. Kinetic, protection, and seismic. Ooh. It's melee type. It's He's got that titan it ability from Titanfall. Catching bullets with a shield. Bleeding deals damage over time to afflicted enemies. Ooh, okay. Some stasis effect, you can leave them bleeding. I like that. Devastators recover health when enemies perish around you in close range. Yes! Give me an SMG build! The trickster, right? Well, there are actually some key differences between these close quarters. <laughs> we literally just reacted to the trickster. Level, the difference is that tricksters get shields for each close range kill. And devastators just have more HP and armor as standard. But they start to differ. Oh, so the devastator is a straight health... Straight health, no shields, and the trickster had shields. The more upgrades you get. When upgraded, devastators can achieve bonuses to armor and health by choosing specific class tree powers. Well, it does say armor. It says we have armor, but it doesn't say shield, so I'm not sure what the difference would be. In close range, an upgraded devastator will most likely have the most armor and health buffs out of all of the classes. These mechanics mean that oh, if you want to be this is what I like. This is gonna be me right here. I see it already, baby. Chasing into the heart of combat, making sure you're always in the thick of it if you want to maintain. Yes. Bro, this dude just summoned a freaking spike out of the ground. Oh, I see right there, bottom left. Let's go. I need that, bro. Oh, the obelisk does pull him. In the future. Power one. Nah, I saw the gravity spike. Leap. That was sick. Upon using gravity leap, you will jump into the air and hover there for a few seconds. I like so that too. That's kind of sick. More whilst targeting an enemy, which will be highlighted in yellow, will cause you to slam down on them, dealing area damage to. That's gonna be a good move to use when you're weak. Kind of like a get out of fight, and then get back in there and try and get a kill to to, to heal your life. Far away enemies. Yeah, yeah, see? Yeah, look, see how he's leaked 200? Yeah, exactly what I was saying! That's gonna be sick. I'm gonna do that. What's he got, a shotgun? 
That means that you can use it to prevent bosses from channeling their. Oh, I think if I run Devastator, I want an SMG and a sniper. Don't have it on cooldown at those key moments. Deal with those people that are long range, you know. Power two, reflect bullets. Using reflect bullets will activate the shield directly in front of you. While the shield is up, any bullets fired at you will get caught in the shield, preventing all Can we damage. send them back? This makes it a great skill to cover your allies while they get into position. Or during a team charge at the enemy. However, it isn't just a defensive skill. When the yeah, skill yeah, yeah. ends, on fire you back. activate the power again, all of the caught bullets will be sent flying back at nearby enemies. Yeah, that's this sick. Means that you'll want to chase down the biggest outpourings. Ah, oh, the Devastator looks sick. Throw them right back in the enemy's face. Power three, impale. This is the Outriders team's personal favorite Devastator attack. Want to know why? Nah. Yeah, yeah, of when course. Impale, of course. Enemy to interrupt them. <laughs> this is highly effective when dealing with bosses and their pesky skills, but it's also a very useful ability. For Can we get more than one? Oh, yeah, there you go. A little three piece action. If the impale is lethal, the enemy will be speared by a stone spike, granting your squad an armor bonus and health regen for nine seconds. So, what if it's not lethal? Impale Ooh. Also has seven potential modifiers that could be applied to it. Ooh, can't gear. do it to the head. For example, the mod Spike Forest, which can be found on a legendary gear set, means that impale can strike one additional target. Safety in numbers. <laughs> I don't think so. I like that. Power four, That's sick. Endless Mass. Endless Mass releases a spinning obelisk, which sucks all nearby enemies towards its gravitational center. I think I called it an obelisk too. What the hell? Endless Mass is a huge leap. Ooh, combine the obelisk with the. Oh, come on, bro. They're doing everything I think of already. The ability to draw large numbers. All right. Into a Fair enough. Clump means that most other targeted skills from both devastators and other classes can be used to the slice the guy effect. all right that's sick i saw that coming as mentioned these are only half of the devastator skills subscribe oh you, you get like a rock i think i saw the rock armor earlier as i didn't know that was uh, one of the powers though kills. they need to lock distances between enemies down very quickly Combining endless mass with gravity leap will mean that a devastator can instantly be amongst the enemy, causing havoc, dishing out damage. I want to know the range on that ability. Then be used to minimize damage against you whilst you're the. Okay, that would be a good way to rush to get in closer. Tables on the enemy. Eat lead, baby. The size of the shield looks massive too. Like it's almost wrapping around you. That you can activate to alter the way your builds and skills work. Vanquisher, Warden. I missed the last one. You won't be able to fill out the class. Seismic Shifter. You'll be able to respec your nodes to switch up your gameplay as you go. The three branches for the Devastator are Vanquisher, Warden, and Seismic Shifter. With each branch providing both major and minor passives that affect your character's type of damage focus mm. and survivability. The Vanquisher branch is all about grappling up close and personal with the I guess, alright, that could be me right there. For weapons like shotguns or assault rifles. The Warden branch will Ooh, truly I hope they have SMGs. The ultimate tank with very high bonuses to health, armor, and resistances. Actually, I might not. My team might not come over to this game, so I might have to do the tank build. And focuses on anomaly damage for seismic skills such as impale. This branch also combines very well with the bleeding status effect that devastators can inflict. Damage over time fans. All the builds look so sick, bro. Like I don't even know which one to choose. Oh, we gotta. Hold on, we gotta look at way more uh, masks. Or helmets. Last time I reacted to the other video, we only had one other helmet to look at, but they didn't show it to us. But I really like the hooded bottom right. Uh, in Destiny 2, I used to play as the Hunter, uh, just so I can have the hooded hooded look. Then I switched back to the Titan. So it's gonna be nice to kind of have that combined that combined look. Passives might reduce the cooldown or duration of the skill, or they might alter it on a. It's like playing as a Hunter, but as a. But as like we a don't want Titan to spoil build. the fun too much today, so we will showcase these in another video. Ooh. So that's our Devastator introduced. 
No need to shake hands. I mean, they'd probably crush your palm into dust if you did. Keep an eye out on our YouTube channel for future gameplay videos and other spotlights coming soon. You know what to do. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow us on social media, all that good stuff. We hope the Devastator class rocked your worlds. <laughs> and we'll see you next ah, time. Funny puns. That was actually amazing. I'm actually super hyped for this. Uh, let me know in the comment below what you want to see me react to next. I think there's two more classes to do. Uh, I'll probably do them within the next couple of days. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.